Good morning from sunny Stafford. So you're looking at me here thinking, what is this guy going to be banging on about today? Well, I will tell you. But first, give that like button a good pressing from me. It really helps YouTube algorithm. And honestly, I really just like getting likes. So what am I talking about today? Well, I gave myself a cheeky day off today and I thought, what is the most common question I have been getting lately from students? And then it hit me. How will COVID, the lockdown and the tier system affect my driving test and my lessons? So I'm here today to explain. Now, anyone from Wales, I'm sorry to say, as I'm sure you're already aware, Wales is now in full national lockdown. What does this mean for driving lessons? This means there are no driving lessons or driving tests until the 9th of November. Now, if you already had a test booked, you will, if you haven't already, receive a message from the DVSA rescheduling your your test for a a later date. So make sure your contact details are up to date and make sure the emails aren't going into your spam. (coughs) Now on to England. So England lessons and tests are back to normal. However, there is a huge backlog. So they've actually even extended the number of tests per day to try and reduce this backlog. Now, there's many people out there that are very concerned with how the new tier system and lockdown rules are going to affect your lessons and your driving test. And I I get that. Now, good news. DVSA have currently said, regardless of any lockdown or tier system, this should not affect driving lessons or driving tests in England. However, the word should is key. Because as we know, winter is coming. Now, why is this relevant, you might be asking? Well, what happens in winter? Everyone starts getting sniffles, coughs, cold temperatures, you name it. Everyone's stuck inside, no ventilation, nice and warm and cosy, and germs just get everywhere. Now, why does this matter, you might ask? Now, let's say an examiner gets some symptoms similar to that of COVID, such as a high temperature, a sore throat, a new continuous cough. They will have to self-isolate for seven days and they will not mess about because they can't. They can't risk that. While they do that, they will call work and they will have to cancel, you guessed it, all of their tests that are pre-allocated with that examiner. They will then have to go and get a COVID test before returning to work. This means any of you out there that are allocated to that examiner will receive an email from DVSA rescheduling that test for a later date. This means you need to make sure your contact details are up to date. You also need to ensure that your emails are going into your inbox and not into your spam. Now, things are also a little bit different on the test with these new rules in place. So I'm just going to highlight a few key points to be aware of. Now, the waiting rooms and test centres are now closed. They are looking at trying to change that for some people in some areas, uh, but currently they are closed, which means the toilet facilities are closed, the waiting rooms are closed, you will be waiting outside. You'll be expected to arrive for your test no more than five minutes before. You'll also be expected to be wearing a face mask. You will be asked to remove this briefly to just check identification, but after that, you will be required to continue wearing that mask throughout the test. Now, very quickly, quick top tip from one of my students. Thank you very much, Rachel. If you wear glasses with a mask, some people can struggle and they say they steam up. Now, what one of my students did, and it seemed genius to me, they got a bit of surgery tape and they taped the top of their mask just below their glasses to their face. So no air could get out the top, steaming up the glasses. Now for them, this seemed really effective. Have a go yourself, let me know what you think. Pop it in the comments box, I'd love to hear. Now another key point I'd like to get across is your instructor will not be able to go with you on the test anymore. They'd like to reduce risk, keep it at a minimum, therefore your instructor will have to wait at the test center. Now the final point, if you perform a serious fault on your test or three minor faults within the same category that leads to a serious fault, the examiner will stop the test and they will return you to the test center, even if that's less than the 40 minutes of the test. So that means if you're two minutes into the test and you forgot to put your seatbelt on, they're gonna turn you straight back around or they're just gonna stop the car and they're gonna get out and they're gonna walk back and that's gonna be the end. Bye bye, 70 pounds. Keep that in mind. Why have they done this, you might be asking, just to reduce the risk. The last time the examiner has to spend in the car with yourself and the last time you have to spend in the car with the examiner, the less chance there are of risk. At the same time, of still having the ability to do your driving test. So you really should appreciate this. One more quick tip. Perhaps you're going on a test in your own car. Make sure your car is spotless outside and in. Make sure you've got some cleaning wipes. You've cleaned down all the seats. There isn't a mark in there. 
I have seen examiners refuse tests and still charge the person because their car was not clean enough inside and out. And you might be asking why on the outside? Well, believe it or not, people do touch the outside of your car. Therefore, there is risk of contamination. So please make sure this is done. Thank you very much. That is the end of this video. Again, if you haven't already, give that like button a good press in. Helps me make more YouTube videos, helps the YouTube algorithm. And to be honest, I just really like lots of likes. So press it. That is all. Until the next time, see you next time on The Ramwell Show.